What up y'all, it's the Kid Reese, and today we are back with another video. And today, we talking sports. So if you're a fan of football, you should know that the NFL Draft is underway right now. That's right, it started yesterday at 8 p.m. It's in Detroit. Shout out to Detroit, what up doe? And the Atlanta Falcons had the number eighth overall pick. Now, I've been waiting for this for a long time. As you can see, I'm a Falcons fan. You know, right when I was old enough to kind of understand what the game was about, that's when I fell in love with football. That's when the Atlanta Falcons became my favorite team. So due to the fact that we had a pretty crappy last season, we were blessed with the eighth overall pick. Now, most people were thinking, okay, we gotta go defense. We need an edge rusher. And I agree, we haven't had a proper edge rusher since John Abraham. That was a while back. And a lot of people felt like that number eighth overall pick was gonna go straight to defense. I mean, you had Dallas Turner sitting right there. You even had Latu sitting right there. Now I agree, I kind of felt like that's where we were gonna go. But I'm telling you, when I got the news that we were drafting Michael Penix Jr., I was elated. Now, a lot of you probably looking at me saying, are you crazy? Why would you go out and draft a quarterback when you just gave Kirk Cousins two years guarantee 100 mil? And to that, I say, well, one, because Kirk Cousins is going on 36, coming off a Achilles injury. We don't know if he's ready to go yet. I mean, yeah, they say he is, but we wouldn't really know that. Two, we don't really have a deep quarterback room. I mean, Tyler Heineke and shout out to, to Heineke, but we don't have anybody else. And let's just say something happens to Kurt. You know what I mean? Who else we gonna have in that quarterback room to back us up? So when they went with Michael Penis Jr. for that number eight pick, I was ecstatic because last year I became a Michael Penis Jr. fan. But the game where I really fell in love with his play was that Texas game. Pure passer, pure pocket passer. It's the flick of the wrist, you know what I mean? He's putting the ball exactly right where he needs to be. I like how accurate his throws are. You know, when he, he'll he toss it right over the top, but it's right where the receiver can get it. He has running ability. He doesn't do it, but I feel like if he were to do it, there'll be like design runs, and I feel like he could definitely take advantage of that. Now, most of the Atlanta Falcons fan base is divided right now. Some people saying this was an idiotic move. He shouldn't have done it gave Kirk all this money. Some say, I love the move. I love the fact that Kirk has some competition in there staring him down so that he knows like, okay, yeah, you got paid, but hey, you gotta go out there and perform. And of course there were reports that came out that saying Kirk was blindsided or that he was shocked that, you know, they went and draft Penix. But I think they took a lot of that out of context because today at Penix press conference, he said that he received a call from Kirk Cousins and they talked for a while. Now he didn't disclose exactly what they talked about, but he said they talked for a while. So that is promising knowing that Kirk is willing to invite him in, show him the ropes, because this is what we need. Let Penix sit for two years. Let him sit, let him learn the game, let him learn for Kirk. Now, a lot of y'all will say, well, he's 24, oh my gosh, he's so old. Listen, by the time he'll play, he'll probably be around, let's say 26. And to that I say, if he has the proper training, if he takes the game serious enough, that won't be a problem. I didn't see the Buccaneers complaining a couple years ago when Tom Brady went down there and won him a Super Bowl. They didn't care how old Tom Brady was. They knew he came down there to do business and that's exactly what he did. Now I'm not saying that Michael Penis is a Tom Brady, but I am saying with the proper training, age shouldn't really matter. You know what I mean? As long as you go out there with the mentality to win and you're not like <laughs> 70 years old dropping back trying to throw a pass, I think you'll be just fine. Now, a lot of the fan base, they aren't happy about it. And to that, I'll say, just give it some time. Come around to it. I know people will be in the comments saying, man, you tripping, bro. We could have went this way with that pick. We could have went that way with that pick. Sure, but who knows where we're picking next year? Hopefully we're picking late because we had a great season next year and we don't have to worry about trying to pick in the top 10, trying to get a quarterback because we had a sucky season. I don't want that. Maybe what Terry saw was that, look, if we got our guy right here, we should just go and get our guy. You know what I mean? And I don't blame him. Now, should we have went edge? We definitely need an edge rusher for sure. Should we have went maybe defensive tackle, which at the time of this recording, we actually did sign a defensive tackle route from Clemson. But with that number eight pick, I feel like people are kind of just, they're just up in arms about it. 
right? Because it's the eighth overall pick and you're using it on a quarterback when you just gave a quarterback a ton of money. Now the money part, I'm not worried about it because the salary cap is gonna continue to rise. The NFL is gonna continue to make more money to where that 100 million is gonna look like chump change in a couple of years. And please Falcons fans, don't get caught up on the media. You know it, I know it. The media does not like the Atlanta Falcons. We've been getting clowned since 28 to three. Hell, before that, the media has never respected the Atlanta Falcons. We never get our props in the media. So why should we worry about what everybody else is saying? You get online right now, you scroll through Twitter or you scroll through anywhere. They're calling us stupid. They're calling us dumb. One of the most idiotic moves that they've ever seen, which is crazy to me because we haven't even seen the results of the moves they made. All we did was draft one of the best quarterbacks in this draft. And Michael Penix Jr. was a top 10 pick absolutely now people will try to run away from that and say oh well he's been injured and all of this stuff yeah he wasn't injured last year though he played the entire season and he played his ass off until he got to that michigan game and it got ugly for him and that's just because he didn't really have a lot of good protection i mean it was rough but that's not gonna make me change my mind on what i see on the field and what i see from him as a player but he just cold with it you know and a lot of people won't admit that but he is. Who's to say that the Saints would move up and try to get him? I don't want the Saints to get him, especially as an Atlanta Falcon fan. Boy, no, I don't rock with the Saints at all, boy. So I'm glad that the Atlanta Falcons went and got their guy. I think they made a great decision. I think he is a great player, and I trust Terry. I trust Coach Raheem to go out there and get the best player available, no matter if it's free agency undrafted free agents i don't care i know terry has an eye for talent he's gonna go get it and we're gonna make this team one of the best teams that we've had in a long time because you feel like me i feel like you we ready to win right if all atlanta falcons fans can agree on one thing is that we are ready to win then that's for sure for sure now all of this talk about michael pennies this michael pennies that kirk cousins that all this will go out the window once we start winning winning cures all that's how the NFL is. That's the nature of the beast. I know this is kind of different from what I usually put out, but hey, I'm a football fan. The NFL draft is going on. I want to reach out to y'all to see how y'all feel about the pick. I've been hearing people debate back and forth about it all day, and I figure, you know what? Hey, I'm from Atlanta. Been an Atlanta Falcons fan for years. You see me, I got on the exclusive attire. They only wear this on field, dog. You can't even get this out the store. This Nike and every this on field. I can't tell you where I got it from, though, but you know, we... We come through exclusive, you feel me? So, that being said, if y'all want some more football content or y'all want to see me talk about football, just let me know and we can make that happen. But until the next time you see me, you already know what to do. Ladies and gentlemen, you stay safe, you keep it carefree, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.